spanning generations, spanning ages. Mm. I don't. I've never heard of him, dude. Every morning don't there's be a, a menace. Halo hanging on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for four corner bed. You remember that shit? What year? No. What year? That's like ninety. Nine? Yeah, 97 was when what, they first what, put it hit out. 99. What level of legend is he like on? If you watch TRL in the 90s, this He's, was like the only thing. Like, oh, this okay. was top, rock, top five yeah. pop rock bands of the 90s, hands down. Like uh, like Radiohead level? Different like, different like genre. And like, Radiohead have a lot more respect. That's Britpop. <laughs> That's okay. like the problem. Radiohead's Ooh. Britpop. Like, He's in on the joke that their band was considered like kind of probably. not that serious of a yeah. band. Who's this wow. it, It's so insane but, how much different the mics but did they have sound a, when you DJ have a close to their DJ. They did. They didn't have they a drummer. Did. They had DJ Homicide. Yeah, so they had like they, they definitely you could hear like the hip hop influence in their production and all that. Right. Hey, Mark McGrath certified and he rock with no jumper that's lit. Mm. Shouts to you, my boy. Shout that good brother that guy. I'm so I'm uncomfortable with how him. close my dog's asshole was just yeah, to your yeah, lean cup. My bad. And also your filterless cigarette. Yeah. Sociopath, once again. Big sociopath <laughs> vibes. That's a big ass dog, too. I got some important yeah. questions, though. Do y'all smoke cigarettes? Not at all. Thank he you. does. Good. No. Millennials. Also, what are your ages? 24. 30, 23. 30, 24, 23? 33. Damn, so you are the, the what they say that I am. You're exploiting the youth. I like it. <laughs> you found two young brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Hip hop yeah. legends. We, have, we haven't crossed into gangbang politics or nothing like that. I was about to say. We're that, keeping it clean just right now. North Carolina ain't lit enough. Though, like, straight up. Yeah. Like, that's not true. I drink yeah. water, nigga. That's not true. <laughs> Yo, y'all need He's to like, start oh. upping the score out your way so that you have some more content to talk about. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not. We're good on that. You provide us more than enough. Like, if we wanted to do no jumper every single week and only that we could but there's no drill rappers that you can find around your neck of the woods it sure wouldn't even be worth it for real what's it nah, worth you're yeah. right, you're right. Man, we, we don't explore all you see what that's doing for you yeah. Like, yeah you need your own lore though you need your own like you know creative lens to to view the world we view it through podcasts you know that's what that's uh, what we explore i just want to say yes i'm wearing overalls yes i was feeling that today i actually got the overalls as well as the gucci shirt for my anniversary this weekend so i decided to throw them together i don't know if that's uh okay. a, a little in your face That'll given that we are in kind of a, a tense climate around no jumper it feels like <laughs> uh, there's a lot of vibes going on a lot yeah. of feelings going every which way so that's why i decided that as long as we are going to continue doing the tuesday show we needed to bring in some moderators to help us make sense of what's going on yes mm -hmm. sir mm -hmm. yes sir is that reasonable yes, i feel like sir. that's reasonable that, you know we do that from that, afar that, we do it from afar so we might as well do my, my consultants here. over here yeah. so the, the the overalls has something to do with the vibe today no i actually thought oh, they, I? I thought they were super inappropriate <laughs> yes yeah yeah and giving so, that and the Gucci shirt is kind of like giving like, oh, look, I've got a freaking $800 polo shirt or whatever yeah, the hell she cool. paid for. You know, that's kind of trashy, too. Yeah. Like, there's really like I'm giving bad messages. I'm kind of trying to like push everybody to the brink of it. Well, like what, what I, what I thought, Scott saw. Mm. What I thought as far as the, <laughs> Something's never the, changed. the overalls was that this is like you're insinuating the invisible pitchfork that you're holding. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Like he chose the wrong day to come dress as old McDonald. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about grabbing OG Suicide's chair out there and like kind of just carrying that around. Cause I, I feel like I'm giving Hacksaw Jim Duggan or like what, what was the wrestler that wore overalls? He, but yeah, he did. He, oh, he I, re I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that you were in full war mode right now. Like you, you yeah. are like, you are offense right now. That's what I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, saying, saying I know. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, oh, he's on bullshit. We seen the lives earlier. What? So he's like, okay. Do, do you have any questions burning at the front of your brain, AJ, since I know it's hard for you to <laughs> like watch this podcast without like kind of formulating like what you know, is what is my take about this podcast that i'm both a part of and observing going to be yes uh the only burning question i have at the top of my head with the split is you said it was non-financial you talked to your business partner so that's the main thing right <sighs> Well, that was one of the. Not that, that was, one of, that was one of the base. You said it was non-financial. I mean, sorry, it was, it was a financial. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Looking at how much each one of these shows cost to operate, and I think boom, honestly, boom, it was kind of like an aesthetic decision slash like just a content decision as mm -hmm. well slash a sanity of mind decision slash a business decision for me to just kind of realize like take a step back. I hate to do this, but I kind of got to like look at all of my peers in the space and okay. kind of compare myself to them look at their business models i look at somebody like you know ak obviously is kind of focused on the streaming thing i feel like he's 
face challenges with trying to put together the academy and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I look at somebody like Vlad. I look at the way that he segments his content up. He doesn't have any consistent shows on his podcast that he's not a part of, aside from the Reggie Wright one that he's been trying mm -hmm. to spearhead. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with that. I look at Say Cheese. They really probably drop like the least amount of content of right. anybody, but I feel like the quality is very high yeah. and still Say mm -hmm. Cheese has a great brand name regardless and he's able to do other things that make money like utilizing the say cheese branding i think for me no jumper if you look at it through 2017 2018 mm -hmm. 2019 it was like very focused around one thing it was like we're going to get as many interviews as possible we're going to do the best interviews we can as you go into 2020 Views. our natural reaction to the pandemic is sure. kind of like we need to double down on just like whoever we got here talking on camera right enter into what was realistically a kind of impressive era when we had at the end of the day it really was, kind of thriving crazy. no it was crazy yeah when you think about it t-rail as much of a bozo as he has shown himself to be over the past year saying. he him ad <clears throat> shout out to ad i guess uh and do know like putting them all together on a show mm -hmm. that was pretty impressive so then we kind of like kept chasing after that building up more shows more hosts etc disconnected and that, yeah exactly and like yeah. having all those kind of go at the same time was kind of like unprecedented within the hip-hop space to have like one channel that had this many different shows doing good and i feel like in the wake of them leaving the channel mm -hmm. i spent a year basically trying to sort of rebuild all that and i think ultimately the conclusion that i kind of drawn was that i don't that need, I, I don't need to be holding on to like things that previously worked on the podcast or gotcha. whatever. Like I just need to be a little bit faster to identify what's working and what isn't. And I'm, I, I feel like at a certain point in time, my mm -hmm. view of content creation was that the only way we we're going to make money is by creating an absolute shitload of content. That's not really necessarily the case at this point. And in fact, I even felt like we were kind of losing money on certain things. So what I really wanted to do this week was just do like a full reset simplify no jumper down to like the the, the simplest bones. parts that actually work right and obviously there's been a, 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 a i actually feel like almost everybody that i spoke to everybody i spoke to on the phone took it very well and was very cool about it rick baby lush almighty uh flacco etc yeah i called dw flame i understand that he was saying that i did not call him today on the news that yeah, is I'm not true did i, I double did it down on that what i doubled down on i didn't watch any of the clips i'm just uh, like reading reddit titles to my, my, that my that knowledge that you right. called so i was just like did he call okay. you or not because i did call him you know i didn't. wanted to have that conversation mm -hmm. with dw he's been around here like the shortest period of time i understand that he's kind of like acting as if i didn't call him which is not true i tried to call him he didn't pick up but uh either way yeah that's kind of what led me to this decision that i understand is going to be kind of controversial for people but like that that's another thing that i want to acknowledge is that like mm -hmm. no jumper has like a, a certain percentage of people who are just paying attention to it for the bullshit 100 percent. the yeah. news mm -hmm. as well as like some of those sort of random nightly shows produced a lot of bullshit a lot of like drama a yeah. lot of stuff that yeah. like you made the point damn homie versus sharp is a whole thing like the fucking reddit that's was a, obsessed with it that's Do a mini storyline doesn't yeah. really do a lot for the brand as a whole when but that doesn't travel outside of the no jumper universe right church you bring all these people on the platform to exploit all of us church and then you don't want us to respond church but we respond we're in the wrong church yo but you see him he's trying to make a name for himself because last time he showed up he uh he, he had a, he had words for the mustard man he was telling I'm not them trying that he to make a name for myself you know yeah. well the, the, the just whole thing. come to la catch a body and just dip <laughs> uh -huh. I, I mean i yeah. think that like the the conversation earlier with sharp really didn't even need to be there didn't need to be any emphasis on the fact that he was trying to belittle him because i don't think that was your intention i think what you were no. trying to say is there's various barometers of virality mm, right now really what viral means oh. is, is, is it transcends the initial platform and not only when i say platform i don't mean the universe it exists in right. but the actual uploader mm. like it gets yes, uploaded yes. by it's That's all over point. TikTok. Yeah, yes, it's on yes, different yes. channels it's yes. on different like tweets da, da, da. this one has five hundred thousand. this one has 1.2 that right. is virality right. you know what i mean like right. hence in the very definition of the word right there yeah, yeah. so th yeah it is this yeah. is tickling your fancy right now go ahead what do you mean tickling? because i because because I say nay, church. It's a nay for me, church. <laughs> are, you get, are you getting back to? Uh, no, oh, it's like get back game no, 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 season. No, 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 okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, you and you Sharp have back. a like no, a thing no, going no, on. No, that, yeah. that, that's the thing. Look, Sharp's been know. getting a raw deal lately. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are on Sharp's helmet. 
I'm empathetic towards that because yeah. I've experienced the highs and lows of the No Jumper fan base. Mm, no I think that he has a lot more, um, you know, mental fortitude than I did at that point when I was kind of in the. But you're different though. You're different in a way that the way that you got when you hit your highs in the No Jumper universe. It was for a different reason. Yeah, correct. They so clowning easy. them about a so, picture and shit. So it was yeah. easy for you to come back. You know what I'm saying? But if you just like amping on bitches, that's a little different. Where it's like it just might get played out. Well, oh. well, to, to an extent, like if we're talking about the actual content, that that's a different conversation. But that's a conversation I was having both conversations. Right, at the and same I did time. hear that as well. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, and but that's ultimately a subjective opinion. You it know? is 100. Whether, yeah. whether you're right or wrong, there is no you know whether well, I agree or there's, don't. There's some metrics you can go. There are some to. metrics. Don't start trying to put parameters yeah. on it now. But going back to what my whole point is though is that the last thing I want to do is throw additional shots and try to cut somebody down when they're already getting roasted. Like there's like, what that doesn't gain me, especially when we all ultimately changes as they may occur, pushing the same line. It's always we still all it's always highs on Yeah, we do. Shoot. And mm -hmm. when I was making those phone line. calls, Sharp had an extremely understanding and positive reaction to it because he's somebody who in very recent memory had, you know, embarrassing him slash like dragging his name through the mud turned into content day after day for a right. week or two there with the damn homie situation to the point where people ask me like is damn homie gonna be back on the news i'm like i don't think it makes sense for me to be no, just no. like bringing in no. chicks to antagonize somebody Unless who's been rocking with me for all these years you know like I mean? and yeah. that just doesn't really like benefit us that much what are we gonna do another round of that we're gonna have her and sharp yell at each other on the fucking show again for another episode of the news like that's just not really it is good in the short term for like just getting some views. What if it's a hey, fuck? Like, it just don't do that. Thing. What if they find love the next to them? But Listen, <laughs> if, if it does go in that that direction, I will certainly reconsider. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey, but real quick, but real quick, going back to because I never got to ask my answer my question. Right. You're just kind of like break down the uh, the logic. So now, in your explanation, it sounds like the quality outweighed the uh, the the actual production cost mm. that's what that's how it sounded based on the way you like described it a little bit so my question is it feels like they also weren't profitable but that was one of the things one of the main things you had said to the last era of people is that their shows weren't profitable and the numbers were very different right because that last era was coming out the gate with 150,000 in the first 24 hours you know mm -hmm. so definitely was, that was a different era but yeah. the one thing i will say is that when you're talking live content I'm talking about the pay disparity the between vast yeah. majority of it is between like live and uh yeah and even just like content that you have to rush out like the clip like the clip of <clears throat> whack running up on flaco yeah. has half a million views and has made exactly like fifty dollars on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Just to put it in perspective of like right, how right, much right, these yeah, viral yeah, moments yeah. actually end up being yeah. worth, which I think Before a lot of people kind of get the wrong idea about I, that. I, you I, can't I even the account for that. Out, uh, the crash out didn't demonetize, did it? No, that one definitely was demonetized. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and then like yeah, I mean like a lot of the nightly <laughs> podcasts. I'm gonna be honest with you, like people just had a really hard time keeping their their potty mouth under control. So like a huge percentage of that mm. was getting demonetized and mm. stuff. So the I mean. Clips? Did, did. Uh, the clips as well as the live streams, yeah. Oh yeah, that's dope. It's, it's all encompassing. Man. <laughs> that's dope to know. Every that, piece of cut. that was you <laughs> minimize the chat. Oh, no, that shit is driving no. me crazy. I can't have that in my fucking yeah. fourth yeah. view. I gotta like bring it up separately yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that was we, the only burning hey, question at the top. When did you brain. know this was gonna happen? <laughs> like, did you know this months ago, or like? Was this honestly like a, a last week thing? And it was just like, yeah, I'm announce it. I think like a few months ago when we decided like let's try and do a bunch of nightly live streams was mm -hmm. kind of like me thinking in another direction of like, well, maybe we just need to create a bunch more shit and kind of see how that goes. And then like kind of over the course of the last like week or two is kind of when I sort of had a realization that I kind of wanted to rein shit in and do a little bit of a focus more on just quality. And, and even like in terms of us just doing podcasts of us sitting around and like talking and everything, I just feel like instead of doing a consistent schedule, Let's just like do it when we feel like we've got yeah. the ammunition. Because a lot of mm. the really truly dreadful content on the news and shit comes from people getting on camera and not knowing what the fuck they're supposed to be talking about. Or even, you know, or, a or memory that comes to story. mind is when you guys did the episode of No Statements where you have those girls talking about the wigs for a long time. Mm. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't see it. I didn't really, I didn't want to like <laughs> kill myself mentally in my brain by clicking it, but I, I heard that there no, was like a, no. a wig infomercial. What happened was, you know, that show ended up winning me the, the, the influencer prize on the show. Well, 
Damn. You just broke Ulterior the rules. motives. Oh, you just yeah. you just accidentally exposed that you won the show that <laughs> no, is not out yet. No, you didn't. on the Tronics it's Network. Still three more days. Oh shit. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, but, but you just been good. good. Film for three days. Yeah. Just been good. Feel right. Like, that was yeah. a cup talking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Now, they might buy a wig. We don't know. But what it was, they might. All those girls were the girls that was in the house with me, and it was like, take your. Shout out to work day. But if like, we have learned, gotcha. if we've learned anything from Fresh and Fit and whatever and Sharp and and every other female led podcast that's ever existed, there, there are so few female led podcasts. But meanwhile, podcasts in which, by the way, shout out to the dogs <laughs> smacking his butt, man. man. Yeah, dog, but if, you're, if if you're going to do a podcast with a bunch of girls, you can't let them run, run the it. environment. Yeah. You need mm. to be running it. And you need to let allow them well, to speak. And, and that's why Damo Fresh and Fit has taught us it, that. That's why Damo he was like Sham Sung, Shang Sung to Shark. You feel me? Like, <laughs> he was the old, she, the ultimate opponent. She I was text you. Back. I text you right after that. I told you I possibly could have did my work. You did, and that, that kind of made me not even the like care about watching. Yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. he knows that wig and commercial was not good. Then I know. Yeah, let's I not even look. Him yeah, directly yeah. after. First of all, I'm on. Seven days in the house with these girls. Mm. We've been drinking. We've been oh, partying. Yeah, we've been on. So while I'm here, I'm getting like agitated. It's like the bender. The end. You already burned. You out. haven't even slept yet. Yeah. Yeah. You, you already burned. I give you patience. Yeah. And it was like then it was like trying to over talk, and then you had Gordy. I guess he had got drunk or something, so he was on and off the camera and <laughs> letting people <laughs> sit down to his seat. Yeah. He couldn't even drive the car for me mm. when I was all the way out of gas. Yo, so yeah, he's yeah. Like, yeah. He said, I have the floor. Let's hurry up and end it. It was everybody's lowest moment. Yeah. Caught on camera. It What's happens. Going on, Gordy? But, but honestly, I think that also we'd be remiss to acknowledge the fact that, yes, were the numbers way bigger for the live shows during the pandemic era absolutely mm. but if you you guys analyze metrics for a living right that's part of what yeah. y'all do now were all live streams numbers super inflated during that time everybody was at they the were, but, they, but the drop was definitely different like the drop was different. even when they left and even six months to eight months after they left they were still clearing a hundred thousand even yeah if yeah, it, yeah you know what like, i'm saying that, so that's but not to back then during, what like, they did yeah peak like, it might have been like 200 though like it was mm. up back then you right know? right so, said, but this is what you're saying we're uh, this is what i feel like we're losing our exclusive however whatever word exclusivity, word, exclusivity yeah. uh by being accessible every day like i mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. they don't have to look at my instagram they don't have to wait to interviews they don't have to wait to there is no mystery no more it's like mm -hmm. we know how brick's feeling today we know how this mm -hmm. dude's feeling today because we're all in their face every single every day. day yeah sometimes yeah. twice Live, three too. times a day you get us you got to look at how joe button runs his program He's got all these hosts, right? Over there, and man. all those hosts are reasonably popular, right? Like the yeah. varying degrees, yeah, but like works. realistically, any of Joe Budden's hosts could probably do a piece of content on Joe Budden's channel and get not as many views, but maybe yeah, half, do all right, maybe 40%, but yeah, still yeah. like a respectable number. Right. But he doesn't do that. Even with the dudes like Queens Flip that obviously has like his own standout potential and everything. Just like flip. instead he kind of like keeps everything consolidated and they keep their crew together and they do episodes like mm -hmm. that. And there's just a huge focus on quality. And I feel like No Jumper for a while there, we were doing a little bit too much uh, spray and pray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you just like, yeah. no. you just do as much shit as possible yeah. and, and make up for and any deficit like, that you yeah. might have. I feel the other guys are only seen once, twice a week. And so it's like, yeah, they probably are clear because you're only hearing from them one time a week. Mm -hmm. Have y'all seen this? Oh, no, no, no. Joe Budden is like four or five times. No, I'm yeah. talking about the people you were talking about. You said when they left. Oh, got you. But I would say that, that the, no, qu the, the quantity thing is a problem for them as well. Because for sure, like the darkest period of the No Jumper show was when AD was coming on and not saying shit because he was doing like four or five other live streams that week during the same week. And I feel like even now... They just be doing too much, and the fan base has kind of scattered and got lost and shit. Whereas I feel like the fig back on fig, yeah, talking yeah. About community. I'm talking about them. Well, oh, all of them. Talking about all of them. Yeah. AD stream is oh. so goddamn much these days. Like I clicked on one day the other day and watched like five minutes, and I was just like, "This is inexcusable. Yeah. Like this is the worst." <laughs> monologue rant i've ever seen in my fucking life like those dudes need to strip everything away and they need to do one podcast a week they need to maybe do two podcasts a week I'm because thinking about going wait, home. which one are you specifically referring yeah. to oh. all of them because all or i'm saying some of them were pretty funny when it comes to no jumper 
I feel like that is definitely true, but when it comes to them, it's extremely true. Like they need to okay. scale back and do less. And if anything, no jumper planted the seed in their mind that in order to run a successful media company, mm -hmm. you need to be yeah. pumping out like multiple pieces of content per day. And I, the area I don't in. think that's the case at mm -hmm. all because yeah. we can look at all kinds of people. Like how many interviews a week does academics do? Like maybe one. Vlad does oh, yeah. a handful of interviews a week and they, yeah. they seem like more because he's dropping them clip by clip. Every day though yeah but yeah. it's like you just don't need to be producing such a gigantic flood of content and if anything i think that it was kind of maybe potentially like watering down the the channel as a whole quality yeah. over quantity. Mm -hmm. i'm trying some more moving forward we can Which always is always a good we, we could always tack a couple more shows on if we feel like yeah, oh this right. is getting boring or whatever like i'm i'm yeah. not closing the door on that because like obviously if we get something really fucking great going and the, the channel keeps getting better and better in terms of us just podcasting together it's like there's going to be a day where I'm not around. Right and then here. you guys are going to do it without me. And it's like, mm -hmm. that that just makes sense. Like, obviously, I'm still open to that. This, to me, is like a, a temporary or who who, yeah. who knows. Like, let's just consolidate and really, like, see if we can make this shit as good There's as possible. There's never a bad time to do that, honestly, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. When you, when you're, really, you're, you're just saying... I want to make the content better. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So there's never a bad time to even and is this really have a break? that moment. Is, he, hmm? is this really a break? Nah, this is a... It's nah, definitely not a break for me in terms of my own personal yeah. like content making because like for me, an average week is probably doing like five to ten interviews. Like that to me is right. just like what That's my right, brain is week. trained to do. Like if anything, I'm trying to like force myself to not take every interview because I feel like... It, that kind of waters the content down as time goes yeah. by. I'd rather kind of focused on specific shit, you know? This is the first time I met you, but it does feel like you got a monkey off your back. Like, it's just like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No Norbies. Whoa. Oh, you got it, too. I forgot. He can't even use those terms. Like, American Cholo don't pop in the face. You got some stress off his shoulder. The weight has been lifted. No, no, I do. The weight has been lifted off his shoulder. He's found a new pad. You know, Think, think about my girl every time i say that i'm gonna do some shit i'm gonna move somebody off the podcast or i'm gonna fire somebody she gets real fucking nervous because she was one she knew ad was getting moved off the tuesday show and then she saw so everything fucking well. explode four yeah. days later or whatever a mm -hmm. couple days later so like she with this she was like kind of nervous and i'm telling her i'm like listen like this is just like what I need I to do in order to run a, a, a media company that I think hey, is going to work. Like a yeah. yeah, I yeah, think they, it's the cleanest. They talk I think about it's the cleanest oh, over, what, what Super Chat said over the phone. Yeah. That was coward shit. I'm like, no, uh, email. Yeah, what, right. what do you so want to do? Five people like, yeah. drive all the way over here? Like, that would have been real corporate. Individually, like, you yeah. have a conversation. You let the person vent yeah. five to ten minutes. Say, hey, let me get to and, the next. And the only person that away. it ended up being weird with that apparently was talking shit, even though I didn't see it, was DW, who's the only one that I didn't actually get on the phone with. So I right. feel like if I probably had got on the phone with him for ten minutes, he wouldn't have been on here talking shit. It and you wasn't did even weird. And you did it call. Him. Weird. I did call him, but he apparently didn't see it. But yeah. why is that always the case with you? Why is it always somebody say something and then you come on? It's like. No, man, I did that. <laughs> yeah, because everybody <laughs> tries to every shape time. their fucking narrative to be whatever point they're trying to get across. Right. So you're saying it's easy to do that to you? Super easy because uh, everybody just says whatever they want about the big boss man. If you are you got overalls on, <laughs> if, you have, if you have a rep uh, reputation that precedes you, that's based on lack of accountability. People are going to be able to like <laughs> yeah. attack that to you real easily. Right. Wow. In this case, you know, you might not understand it. You think? <laughs> you think someone had to? No, yeah. But but uh, I know that my brother Comparator was very very. He I heard he was crying like, and shit. He's feeling he's down like, about it. And but what I wanted to explain to him yeah. is, look, if anybody has been through the ringer, the good, the bad, and the ugly of this organization is me. And I know that. Look, if, if you see me back as one of the only people that are still in regular motion over here considering what i already went through mm -hmm. anybody if you just stay solid you know what i'm saying keep your head forward and stay loyal to the Aww, brand nigga, you giving, that was crazy Yo, nigga. Nigga. <laughs> this is not <laughs> the pursuit of happiness that was, I was that say, what the fuck is hey, keep your head up keep what your mean? head up pay your bills <laughs> no no, no like, it's it. not i under i get we felt that shit. I know it sounds we funny. We like, felt I get it. it. Uh, but, but we but. all... <laughs> Listen. Listen. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. 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 Look, but here's the thing. Yeah, yeah, there's there's forever going to be ebbs and flows and yeah, changes yeah. in this channel, in this company, and in this yeah. game. And you got to stay ready for whatever's ahead, you know? And if, and if you 
maintain a valuable asset to the company, you will continue and to be included. I'm sorry. Even sorry. Well, it's, you, you are staying permanently, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're still and right here. That's why, like, nigga, like, you saying that yeah. is yeah. Yeah. Well, most of the people that are what that weren't really contracted or po like are most of the people that got the hit like it was i don't want to get in the business did, did i say too much but no, it's like man. motherfuckers didn't even have contracts he always cheaters so it's like it's like it's like uh if you would show the show anyway that's still like trial tryout era right right true mm -hmm. all right so it's like at the end of the day i didn't want to say that because it's because i'm staying I, I, I said like that, that but yeah. i'm like it kind of wasn't really locked in motherfuckers was finding a place for each for each, 100 everybody to you fit. Can feel it a little you bit. get what i'm saying yeah, and that's why it, he probably didn't take it into his hands to contract certain people until they fit in where I, they fit I, in because it was like a water yeah, it was like two three months yeah. for me too i i just yeah. want to throw a narrative out there there's a okay. conversation i had when i went on academics podcast in new york and i i hate that i always kind of like have to refer to media game that he's put me on or whatever but i gotta do it because he, he he had a very good observation like he was drunk as fuck and he was clearly so he was in his prime he was in his his zone his yeah. aura yeah, sure. he was locked and, and he was dealing with he was talking about the fact that his reddit which he doesn't really interact with his Reddit at all, according to him. And he doesn't, like his Reddit seems very disconnected from like his actual content. It seems like it's basically just a league of haters. But like his, his, yeah. his Reddit would prefer that he do nonstop content that is full blown analysis of his relationship with Crazy Girl. Yeah, a little so, bit. So, which apparently he's still hanging out with, which is crazy in its own right. But, like, you yeah. know, he doesn't want to do content about that. Instead, he's chasing after things that are actually going to fucking grow his channel, which obviously he has seen absurd growth over the past That's month right. or two. And so, from my perspective, I, I've been thinking about that ever since of like, when it comes to the news, when it comes to the drama clips, all that kind of shit, it does kind of feel like that's what a certain segment of the audience wants, but that's not really the shit that's going to grow the channel or really get us going in a, in a great direction. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like mm -hmm. a need that we've gotten used to sat uh, satisfying. But I'm not really used, I'm, but it ultimately isn't really the thing that grows the channel and it's not the thing no. that really helps the business. Right. We've had a bunch of interviews over the past couple of months that did millions of views and that's like very consequential to the business yeah. and in comparison, you know, just like me talking, me doing another T-Rail rant does nothing for the yeah. channel right, right, besides right. satisfy ball, like a tiny percentage of the Reddit that is still 100%. hung up on that shit. And, the big percentage and there's a certain your, your ego. Yeah, but yeah. him on the other hand, his, his, like that's the only thing that works on his channel.